In cable plant design, you'll pretty much have two types of systems, ISP and OSP. ISP is inside plant, which is inside the building, and outside OSP is outside plant, which is all the stuff which is outside getting to the building. Now, an inside cable plant design, you want to make sure you follow the structure cabling systems design where we mentioned there are six different systems with the MPOE, your, your riser rooms, your equipment rooms, telecommunications rooms, your uh, horizontal cabling, and then your workstation uh, outlets. And you'll want to make sure you touch on all those. Now, with inside the uh, cabling plant design, you'll want to make sure your ground and bonding, your labeling, and your documentation and all those are met because they're all important and everybody knows if you don't have one you'll realize how important it is. If you have a great system but it's not labeled how's anybody going to find anything? Uh, now in your outside cabling uh, plant you want to make sure that there's certain codes that are met you know you're 24 to 30 inches below you know uh, on the copper cabling system. Your fiber is routed in a way where it uh, meets the distance uh, limitation requirements for, for what have you, or for whatever uh, type of system they may be wanting to put in. You'll have, you know, you'll have your campus type uh, outside plant, which is relatively short distances. But then you'll have your long haul, which is mainly the, car uh, the, um, the main people like AT&T, Time Warner, Verizon, uh, Cox. They distribute their systems usually through a single mode outside plant either on top of the uh, uh, overhead, you know, with uh, poles or underground, which uh, are most uh, uh, installations uh, today. So those are the two main types of uh, cabling designs, inside plant and outside plant. And it's pretty, it's pretty obvious where you would use one versus the other.